Hi guys, you're on warium24.com and today we are going to disassemble Xiaomi Redmi 10C. First of all, we need to take out the card tray. Unfortunately, the phone came to us without the tray, but we know that we can use a special tool to insert into the hole and the mechanism will push the tray for two SIM cards and a memory card. After that, we can use a thin plastic tool or film to open the cover slightly and then use a thicker plastic tool to detach the clips. We have to be careful on the corners and on the side buttons. And we can open the back cover. Pay attention to the back cover. It has a fingerprint sensor and it is glued, so be careful. But our phone was apparently disassembled, so the fingerprint sensor just fell off. Now we need to unscrew the screws with a Philips Hash 30 screwdriver or 1.5 mm. We have 10 screws here. They are all the same and are badly magnetized. Then with a plastic tool we detach the cover hiding the circuit board and put it aside. It is important to disconnect the battery connector first. Then we can disconnect the connector and remove the fingerprint sensor. And we need to unscrew the screws on the bottom with a Philips hash trio screwdriver. There are eight. We can detach the cover with a loudspeaker. Hook it by the edge and detach it. We disconnect the interboard cable connector and the coaxial cable connector. Take out the subboard, by the way, it is slightly glued. On the subboard, there are a microphone and a charging port. On the back side, we see the hole for the microphone. And we can disconnect the display connector and the coaxial cable connector. And we can disconnect the connectors and take out the two rear cameras. Then we can disconnect the connector and take out the front camera. It is slightly glued with a copper head sink film to the motherboard shield. It is best to peel film off to use it again. Then we can detach the circuit board, look for the places where the hooks hold the board and carefully detach it. Also make sure that no connectors are holding the circuit board. And now we can remove the battery. In our case, the technician peels off the transparent film. It is not necessary, except the case that will happen in a minute. And we need to pull out the two tabs of adhesive tape that hold the battery. As usual, the tabs dry out and come off. We need to find a way to get to the adhesive tape, such as using tweezers and pulling the adhesive tape out. Gently pull it away from the battery. 
don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by in everything see you in the next life to be a better me i don't think that my head's on straight gotta flip it and grip it and go and for the second tab we do the same thing it also tears off and we also use tweezers to pick it up and pull the adhesive tape out. And this is the case that I told you. We have to pull the battery up because we have part of the adhesive tape that didn't come off completely. Okay, that is the end of this disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around. There's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut, it can show you what you want. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need are some better days. Yeah, all I need are some better days. Cause all I want. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself. And until next video. All I need are some better days, cause all I want, and I pray, I believe in the better days.